Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install these awesome LED headlights on your Jeep or XJ. The first thing you got to do to take this thing out is you got to use one Phillips screwdriver and that's all you need and you got to take out this whole trim right here. So there's going to be one here, a screw, screw, and then because you have to take that off and then there's going to be two or three screws on underneath that and then there's going to be one here and then this whole plate will come down and give us access to the headlight so let's quickly do that and get this all disassembled here we go There we go. Now we just got to ease the bracket out. There you go. That easy. And now to remove the headlight, all there is to it is there's four screws holding this trim piece in, and then that just holds the headlight in. So let's do that. And the trim comes out. And then the whole headlight comes out and then you just disconnect it at the back. And there we go. That's how you remove a Jeep headlight. And now we can start thinking about installing the other one. Okay, here is the headlight. You can see the daytime running lights on the side and the main ones in the middle. And then it's a direct plug-in, so I can plug it in directly into that. And here is my daytime running lights wire. But to make that work, I'm going to have to splice it into my side marker here. So when I turn on the side markers and these things, it'll go on so my running lights will work. But to do that, we're going to have to do a little bit of splicing in here. So I'll show you how to find the wire and splice into it okay to find the wire you want to splice into because you don't know which one has the power and which one doesn't we gotta remove the light bulb here go to the side and then if you come up here we go up here we want to attach the black end of our tester cable here to the ground and then bring our red wire down here Turn it to our setting, and then bring it over here, and I'll go turn on the headlights, and then we'll be able to test which wire has the power going to it. Okay, now that we have power going to it, we just gotta put our red tester in each side of the little piece here, and we'll be able to see it change. So that one changed. And now if we go over here, on this side, nothing. That one changed, nothing. So the power is on the left side here. Just to make sure. 11, 0. So it's going to be on the left side, so it's going to be the blue and red wire on the left here. So that's going to be our power. So yeah. So that is the wire we're going to cut and splice into with another piece of wire that I have and then we can wire it around and be able to plug in. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna cut it on the left side here and then splice in my new piece of wire here. Just an extra length so I can reach it around and get it out the front here. So, and then I'm gonna use this connector piece to splice it in like so, and we'll be golden. So let's do that. Okay, got it all spliced in there, as you can see. 
And this cord will go back in to the back there. But I added a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it's all sealed up and no water moisture would get back there and corrode and be weird. And it also just kind of holds it better too. But with that spliced in, we can thread it back in there, back to there, and then we can reassemble this thing with my new headlight. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's plug it all in. Okay, first, let's actually just put this baby back in here. Make sure it's all tight. There we go. Now, let's plug in the back here. Just so you guys can see. You just plug it right in. It feels solid enough. And then we put this on, slide the little rubber piece on, and there it's all connected. Now, let's just temporarily set it right here for you guys to watch. And now let's turn on the lights. Nice, it worked. Now, if you guys can see that, you can, we have our, our daytime running lights on. And this thing's not affected, it doesn't seem. And let's turn on the other lights. Okie dokie, it looks all functional. So I'll turn them off and reassemble everything. Okay, we're just gonna go reverse order what we did. We're gonna put the plate back onto this and screw in the four and then put the whole covering on and then put the side marker on and then we'll be done. Here we go. Boom, this thing is done. It's all tightened up, and this is what it looks like. It's interesting how the chrome kind of makes it look chromey, but black, I love it. It kind of looks like the grill. So anyways, this is all finished, and I went ahead and did the other side here. So it looks exactly the same. It looks amazing. And now, now that we have all it in, let's go test it out in the dark and see how it works. Okay, people, this is my normal lights, like just normal low beams. And then I'm gonna switch them to high beams here. So that's my high beams, and that's my low beams. And then this is my daytime running lights. It's a little harder to see, but they're there. Normal, and then high beams. And then if you throw in the LED bar, it lights up a lot more. <laughs> so that's what they look like. High, low, all the good stuff. So anyways, that's how they work, guys. I'm really impressed with them. They're super bright compared to my other ones. So yeah, I definitely recommend these awesome lights. Okay, people, as you saw in the video, the headlights were awesome. They worked awesome in the dark. They're so much brighter than my stock ones. And they look awesome. I love the daytime running lights. They work awesome. They work great. And I'm just glad I got them. So they're the really awesome upgrade that really shine out on this car. Add a very a good amount of character to this thing. So I'm glad I got them. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I like them. <laughs> so yeah. So thanks for watching this video. So stay tuned for some more videos. I got a winch video coming up. Maybe a new dirt bike race coming up. So yeah, stay tuned for that, and I just praise you guys watching, so please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in another one.